We don't know exactly who wrote either the Gospel according to John or the three letters of John, but one thing is certain. Whoever wrote these magnificent pieces knew how to weave together seemingly opposite ideas and make them mesh seamlessly. During major parts of Holy Week and Easter, we read from the Gospel according to John. On Monday, Thursday, we read that portion of the story of the Last Supper, where Jesus gave his disciples a new commandment, that they love one another. This theme is echoed and amplified in the letter 1 John. Who can forget the words in chapter 4, for example, Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Whoever loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. In both the Gospel and in this epistle, the writer speaks of love as a new commandment. But in today's reading from 1 John chapter 2, he hints that this is really not a new commandment at all, but a very ancient one. How he weaves together the idea of an old and new commandment is just masterful. He writes, Beloved, I am writing you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new commandment that is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, I am in the light, while hating a brother or sister, is still in darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light, and in such a person there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates another believer is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know the way to go, because the darkness has brought on blindness. What is new is old, and what is old is new once again. Here's how he weaves these elements together. When he speaks of the old commandment that we have had from the beginning, he brings in a very subtle allusion to Christ, whom the Gospel of John reminds us was in the very beginning. Remember what he says at the beginning of that Gospel? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is the writer's way of saying that the new commandment we have in Jesus Christ is really an ancient commandment because it is from Christ who, was, who already existed in the very beginning. The writer clearly knew that his audience already knew what this new old commandment was. In fact, in this passage, he doesn't even mention the commandment itself. But like us, his original hearers would have known instinctively that this is the commandment to love one another. It is the commandment Jesus gave to his disciples at the Last Supper. I give you a new commandment, he said, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. But this is also an ancient commandment that any good and faithful Jew would have known and which Jesus himself quoted when asked what the greatest commandment is, love your neighbor as yourself. So in one sense, it really is an ancient commandment. What makes it new is how both Jesus and the writer of John apply it. This is no longer just sort of general love of all humankind. This is now to be a distinctive way of life for the Christian community, which is what the writer emphasizes now. What he does in this passage is to use this new old commandment to highlight how members of the Christian community must treat and regard one another. To act out of love for one, or, one another is no longer a general sentiment. It is an absolute requirement for life in the community. That's why he emphasizes the idea that hating one's fellow believer means that one is still living in darkness and has not yet come into the light. This should resonate with us all. For who hasn't at one point or another had real conflict with another believer, maybe even real dislike for another believer? It becomes all too easy to dismiss those with whom we disagree as simply beneath our care. 
But this is the total opposite of what Christ commands us to do. After all, if we can't love one another inside the faith community, how on earth do we think we can love our neighbors outside the community?